Start by cutting two identical hearts from a piece of red cardstock. Then run a needle and thread through one edge of a piece of lacy seam binding. And as you go, you're going to pull up the thread so that it will give it a scrunched edge. You're going to keep scrunching up the seam binding until you have enough to go around the entire red heart. Measure your scrunched seam binding to be sure it fits all the way around the heart. When you have enough, tie off the thread and cut off the excess seam binding and the excess thread. Run a line of hot glue around the outside edge of one of your hearts and then you'll very carefully apply the scrunched edge of your seam binding to the glue, allowing the extra edge of it to extend beyond the edge of the cardstock heart. And then you'll just want to continue that until you have lace around the entire heart. Next, place two foam stickers on the back of the second cardstock heart, and then you're just going to place that heart on top of the lace, lining up the edges with the heart beneath it. This should create a sandwich with the heart and the lace. Next, take a piece of pink ribbon and tie a knot in the very center of it. You might have to tie it twice to get the knot thick enough. Place a small drop of glue, hot glue, on each edge of the ribbon and stick a small red heart-shaped bead to each end. Then place a drop of glue in the center of the cardstock heart towards the top and press the knot onto it, making sure it's glued so that the heart beads are on the top side of the ribbon facing you. Then place another drop of glue right on top of the knot and attach another heart-shaped bead. Cut a piece of magnet just small enough to fit comfortably on the back of the heart and smear on a little hot glue. I found this is a good way to recycle the business card magnets that many companies give out. And then you'll just stick that to the back of the heart. And there you have it.